in United States v. Amber's Villa, 2023. The courts examined whether or not a trooper's questions impermissibly prolonged a traffic stop, which led to an arrest and conviction completely unrelated to the traffic violation that preceded the stop. In this case, Amber's Villa was pulled over by an Illinois state trooper whom, during the stop, made several observations about Amber's Villa's car, which led him to suspect potential drug trafficking activity. As was the trooper's custom, he asked Amber's Villa to sit in his patrol car for the duration of the stop. While processing a warning citation, the trooper asked Amber's Villa several repetitive and persistent questions about his travels. Throughout this conversation, Amber's Villa's unusual responses and excessively nervous and evasive reactions raised the trooper's suspicion. After processing the warning, the trooper handed it to Amber's Villa, who then opened the door and began to exit the patrol car. As Amber's Villa was exiting, the trooper asked, Do you mind if I ask you a few more questions? Amber's Villa agreed, and the trooper asked if he was involved in any drug activity, and if he would consent to a search of his car. Amber's Villa consented, and the subsequent search uncovered approximately 13 kilograms of methamphetamine. Amber's Villa filed a motion to suppress and argued that the officer violated his rights under the Fourth Amendment by exceeding the permissible scope of the traffic stop. The court held that the trooper's unrelated questions were permitted because the questioning did not prolong the duration of the stop, as they were asked while he was actively working on writing and issuing the warning citation. The court's decision in this case further clarifies the precedent already set in Rodriguez v. United States when it comes to prolonging traffic stops to investigate unrelated or additional crimes. If you don't have reasonable suspicion or consent to prolong a stop, any investigatory actions must be completed within the time it takes to expeditiously address and take action on the original reason for the stop.